Right, it's a big head-to-head -head on the channel and it's going to be the PXG0211 which uh, we, has pretty much shocked most of us in terms of where it's coming at price-wise. I think these two drivers could be amongst the best selling in 2021. I'm going to carry on, I'm going to collect some data, I'm going to test this 0211 and uh, my mate over there, well he's going to try the pink G425. Good luck mate. Mate, I don't need luck. As we all know, the PXG fanboy over there, he's going to literally well. do everything he can to make that thing come out on top. But as you know, I like to do unbiased reviews. So I've got the, P, uh, the Ping G420 oh. and that. Just uh, pipe down a little while I'm doing my bit. Ping G425, which I think is going to come out on top. But there's only one way to find out. I'm going to start hitting some balls. Fire and see jesus these things are absolutely fine oh, seriously and you won't well beat impressed. that either wow we've got a what battle a start going on here we've got a real battle on here and i'm really interested to see which one of these two is going to come out on top wow but well, we're swinging it well good luck While I get my breath back, we're uh, in a fair old uh, few drives here to try and collect some data, make this as fair as possible and uh, see who can come out on top. But I think when I'm hitting the balls and I'm thinking, the big debate I'm having in my head is, is still this price thing. I mean, there's a couple of things I want from you as, uh, as a viewer to commentate on. What do you think of this price change? It's, you know, it's as much in the US, you're talking probably $200 difference between these two drivers. So it's a massive part now in this equation and uh, why I've chose these two drivers is because for me, they're both extremely good looking drivers. Um, I'm expecting yardage wise, I don't know, come out very, very similar indeed. They almost sound the same as well because they've got the little bit, both of them, if I had a criticism, and I think I said in both of the independent reviews, if I had a criticism, they're both a little bit hard off the face for me. So it wouldn't be a, a choice, uh, either of them, but they equally, they perform extremely well. Uh, but what I want to know with the comment was, uh, in terms of PXG or Ping, which would you go for? And how much has that price drop changed your opinion on maybe 12 months ago? Um, if they were equally priced, let's say, where would you go? Because now there is a real reason, not only to choose on performance, but that price factor is absolutely massive. Before we start, are you a fishing man? Well, have you come out, Justin Bieber? I'll tell you what, why don't you just tell me what's so special about that drive you've got there? Well, for starters, it's ping. You know exactly what you're going to get. You can trust this thing. Reliability in abundance, plenty of forgiveness. It's got a movable weight to shift from a draw to fade bias. Does yours have a movable weight? No. No, it's a changeable weight. So not a movable weight. You've got to remember, this is the most forgiving driver on the market right now. Highest MOI Perfect. recorded to date. Show me in the final dry ball data that that driver is any more forgiving than this one. You can't, can you? Okay, okay. So why don't you tell me what is so special about that 0 to 11 driver you keep piping on about? Before we do that, why don't you tell me how much that driver actually costs? I think cost is irrelevant. It really is. That's about affordability. Well, well, wait a minute. I thought that was everyone's favourite subject when we talked about PXG products. Okay, well for starters, it's 325 British pounds in the UK and it's $250 in the US, an incredible saving. And that's far cheaper than your ping. This also has the science of sexy and believe me, you need some of that. But more than that, this is the best looking driver at address on the market right now. Nobody can disagree with that. It's absolutely stunning behind the ball. And not forgetting, like I mentioned, it has this changeable weight in the back end of it. So an absolute waste of time then. And on top of that, I think you'll find this is the most forgiving driver on the marketplace well, right now. I think we've already said, I think you'll find this No, is. no, this is. Uh, no, I no, think no. you'll find this I'll is. I'll tell you, this one is. I think we need some dry ball data. Right, he's laid down the marker. Let's see what we can do with this ping driver, which we all know is going to come out on top.
That's not a bad start, Peter. Yeah, an interesting head-to-head -head and uh, perhaps lockdown is taking its toll. We've all gone a little bit uh, mad, I think. Uh, but the, um, the the more serious elements of the head-to-head -head was this. There was, um, I'll get to the dry ball date in terms of what splits them. I think on the look side, I'm very much in favour of both of them. I've already said on previous reviews, uh, the turbulated bit, I'd rather see that smooth crown. So the PXG would get it from above, but I think they've both got that kind of just a black, Silver and white kind of colours is my kind of colour palette. I like the look of both of them, so there's no uh, sort of sway either way, really, apart from that crown. In terms of the shafts, there was a difference. Um, I use the CB Alter Stiff Shaft, which is 55 gram in the uh, ping head, which was 10 and a half degrees loft. And I use a Diamana shaft in a PXG head, uh, which was a 60 gram stiff, and again, 10 and a half degrees. So, Difference is slightly in shaft, but I'm going to get to the performance. Um, and one thing I'll mention also is that I the, the sound is an issue for me um, on both the drivers. I think it's a little bit more harsh than I would personally want. So for me, again, I'd be directed towards other drivers. But for a lot of people, that's not a big deal when they're choosing. And obviously, ultimately, I suppose it's all about performance. So that's where we'll go. Uh, I'll put the numbers in front of you now. We'll start off with the ping driver first. Um, about right, 96.5 mile an hour club head speed, uh, carrying 237, peak height 98, 143 ball speed, uh, other 14 and a half degree launch, spinning at 27. Pretty much all good numbers. Um, if Maybe what you'd look at is uh, dropping that spin just a tad, lowering the launch just a little bit. And I think that combination might have an impact on a, on a longer carry. Who knows? I don't know. But uh, for, for the purposes of what we got, that they were the numbers on the day. I'll then throw up what we got from the PXG driver. Um, I swung this club just a little bit faster in terms of the club head. I don't know whether that was generated through, uh, through efforts or the shaft head relationship. I don't know. But we were a little bit quicker. 98.4, 240 carry, 81 peak height, ball speed of 147. Launching 11.526 spin. I think you've got to remember those two sets of numbers. Uh, if I'm being honest with you, although there's a couple of yards of yardage difference and a little bit more ball speed from the PXG driver, arguably that literally comes from the club head speed. So that'll be, it's a direct relation and, and they're almost identical, the numbers. Um, based on that and that performance, if we were purely looking about overall package of performance, I think the, the ball flight, that 11.5 launch, the 2.6 spin, and that 2.40 carry, and the ball speed, then you would suggest that the head and the shaft combination of the PXG was better in this instance, but like I said, I think tweaks can be made. What I did was, because um, I think the real interesting story in this is that both of the drivers are claiming to be uh, incredibly forgiving, as we heard earlier on. I think it's a real hard thing. It's impossible for, for me to measure. But all it did was later on, when you're hitting balls to collect data, it's a bit of a, uh, we're, we're hitting a number of balls. What I decided to do was, I literally hit some balls after we got the data collected. And the idea was to look at how close, how accurate, how much, if I, if I really concentrate on a target line, how close can I get it to that target line? And it was pretty much alternate shots. Both drivers, you, in terms of sound, I really wouldn't have recognised which was which. There's a slight different variable, like I said, in this uh, in the shaft, I would say. But if you have a look at this dispersion chart now, there's perhaps half a dozen shots, I can't count them, because they literally are on top of one another, where I had the ball literally on a string with either club, nailing it down the middle. We leaked a few out to the right, again, which is a, a, a sort of something that I would possibly, a weakness of mine, but overall, with that in mind, concentrating purely on accuracy at, instead of all out distance, you see just how much tighter that dispersion becomes. But I still think that that was down to my concentration on performance. I think if you have a closer look in terms of where they're landing, they probably don't carry as long as what we were getting in terms of uh, the dry ball data. Um, but that again to me is all about the performance of the player, perhaps, and not about the club itself. The big difference in this whole thing, and it was mentioned from the beginning, it's been mentioned right from the beginning of 21 really, is the price thing. The price difference is huge. It's where for me, 
PXG have stolen March. They've got this situation where they're, you know, just talking UK alone, hundred pound plus uh, less expensive than that ping. And that is a big, big difference. So I think for me, if it was a head to head, I mean, you know, based on that, it's a, it's a money choice. I mean, if you're not, if you like the look of the PXG, if you like the sound of the PXG, then really speaking, the performance is hard to split them, then surely you would go down that route based on that extra 120 quid in your pocket. Um, but I don't know, there's ping loyalists out there who would still pay that 120 pound more, knowing, like I said, that the history of the ping, the history of the ping G series of drivers, the reliability, like I said, and everything that's positive about that. So I think e either one you choose, you'll be incredibly happy, but I think it boils down at the end of the day to pounds and pence, I think, and it's nothing that I normally speak about and not one I'd expect to be speaking about in uh, a head-to-head -head that includes a PXG driver. But on this occasion, that price difference is big. Uh, that's it, we're all done. As ever, more importantly, like I said, where would you be swayed? Are either of those drivers on your wish list? Are you going to give them a go? Uh, hit that like button and get your comments down below and subscribe if you don't already. And uh, that's me done. I should hopefully now see you on Friday night with the next one. That's a wrap. Right, so at least I can crack on with that.